There are 81 reasons to fall in love with Turkey and number two is Adiyaman. I'm not quite sure what I got myself into. Adiyaman is located in southern central of Turkey and the easiest way to get there is by plane. I believe that this is going to be a once in a lifetime experience and I'm sure it will be worth the effort and also the money I'm spending on the ticket. Before going to Adiyaman, I contacted a hotel close to Mount Nemrud and the owners were really helpful. They picked me up from the airport and with full speed we drove 50 kilometers to a village called Karadut. I made it to the Karadut pension, pension, very close to Nemrud and it's very cold here. But it's super cozy. We have an oven and of course we are drinking chai non-stop. The night before hiking up the mountain, I prepared myself mentally for this challenge. Unlike in summer where you can simply drive all the way up, you have to fight your way through a lot of snow for several hours in winter. But luckily I wasn't alone. I'm waiting for Mustafa and his friend and then we are going up the mountain. Ama bu ayakkabı iyi. Problem ben ki kaymıyor. Evet. Ama senin ayakkabı problem. 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 <gülüyor> Dün bir arkadaş giymişti abla çok kayıyordu. Ha. Her zaman düşüyordu. Ben her zaman evet. <gülüyor> Tamam hadi gidelim. The tractor could take us 5 kilometers, but the other 5 kilometers we actually have to walk up. It takes around 2 hours, but I'm sure it takes much longer than that. Demo. This is exactly where I want to go to the Tumulus. I'm in heaven when I'm with you. So we made it for like 45 minutes and now we're having a short break with some check check deck. Yeah. Check deck. Hayat nasıl? Hayat zor. <gülüyor> Ama güzel yine. Berlin'e selamlar. <gülüyor> And this is the last video with Harun because he gave up. But Mustafa and me, we kept going and it became harder and harder the closer we made it to the summit. Hayat nasıl? Hayat çok zor gidiyor. Gece yedi. Zor. Bayağı zor. Mutlu musun? Şu an mı? Şu an mutlu. Ben hayatımda her zaman mutlu. We are almost there. Az kaldı. Çok az kaldı. Kaç dakika daha? 20 dakikaya hekilen oradayız. 20 dakikaya 2250 rakamın tepesine çıkacağız. Ve çok güzel bir manzara. Bütün Adıyamanlar, Siyörekler hep gözükecek. 20 dakika sonra oradayız. Çok güzel olacak. S söz mü? Söz. Uh, çok yorulduk. Ne oldu? Hadi. Ne oldu? Yoruldun mu? Hayır, yorulmadım. Al buradan gel abla bak. Bak. Bak bak bak. <gülüyor> bak bak. Çok az kaldı. Kaç dakika daha? 5 dakika oradayız. Tamam. 5 dakika hekilerin zirvesini çıkacağız.
just so tired. It took us four hours to get here. It was very cold, it is very cold. And also, it's kind of dangerous in the winter. There is nobody else. It will just be yourself. So why are there these statues on top of Mount Nemrut? Well, nobody really knows the full answer to this mystery. But what we know is that it's the resting place of a king from over 2000 years ago who thought he was equal to gods. So he put himself as a statue next to all the other god statues. There are two groups of these god figures. One group of them was placed to greet the sunrise and the other to greet the sunset. This view, you will only see that once. Exactly here, right here. Buna? Bunlar e, kurt bizler. Demek ki buradan e, kar yağdığı zaman burada kurt geçmiş. Çünkü e, kar yağdığı zaman kurtlar burada geçti. Böyle oluyor. Kar yağmazsa kurtların izler böyle olmuyor. Şu an kar var, o yüzden kurtlar burada geçti. We had to rush because of the wolves. They scared me a lot, and we saw many footprints of, like, fresh footprints of wolves. And you should never go up the mountain before sunrise, or after sunset. It's going to be really dangerous in winter time. Took us one hour go down and four hours going up. Adi. <laughs> now we're having the, having the most delicious dinner after our hike up to the Mount Nemrut. So this is the room. I don't know why, but I have three beds in the room. And TV. We have a small oven. And the bathroom. It's so cool. What you can find in Adiyaman is not only Mount Nemrut. Adiyaman has so much more to offer. Just look at this. Adiyaman has many historical places to visit and you can basically go back in time because these places, ancient castles and ancient cities are as old as humans' history. Like the bridge that you can see behind me. That's the Jandere Bridge. This is a very ancient bridge that you can visit on your way to Mount Nemrut. And in summer you can even go swimming in the river nearby. Or you can just have a tea next to the bridge. And it's even very nice to camp in summer here. Another hidden gem in Adeyaman is the ancient city of Arsemia, which is surrounded by beautiful nature. Some people say that this site is even better than Mount Nemwood, so don't forget to check it out. What you can see here is the longest religious and social Greek inscription in Anatolia of that time. The inscription contains information about the foundation of the city, about the religious and social life and anything that you can imagine. Mehaba! Was ist Wenn wir Video checken. I'm always carrying a tripod with me and without the tripod most of the shots would not be possible. So this is something that I always have with me. So I'm in Asimia city right now and there are also tunnels. Let's see what's going to await us. Oh my god! Don't. So I guess. Oh my god! Mehaba? Someone here? Oh my god! I heard something super scary. Scary, scary, scary but interesting there's like nobody around i'm basically the only person and when you hear just a very small noise of anything you freak out Karta Kalesi is one of the impressive castles in Adiyaman which lies on top of a mountain
So I just made it to the Perrines, which are located very close to Adiyaman downtown. This used to be one of the big cities of the king and this is a huge area. There are over 200 tombs which are connected with each other. So this is basically a huge graveyard of the ancient time and you should make sure to bring enough time here because you could spend half a day here. So I would say let's go inside of one of these tombs and let's see how the graves actually look like. So it's a huge room and inside of these rooms you can see the graves. Here's one, there's one and there's another one. And all of these graves belong to one family. It's a bit scary but the cool thing about this place is that you can walk everywhere around and just go inside the rooms and explore. So in one of these rooms they also presented how the grave looked like with the skeleton. Buger check me? Huh. So this seems to be a real skeleton. And we have more over here. And they put them in the graves with clothes on and also gifts. So that's the antique city of Pear. A ticket is like 10 liras. I would say it's a very interesting place. And when you're in Adiyaman, you should definitely come here. So the question is, is it really worth it coming to Adiyaman? And the answer is, 100% yes definitely you should come here. You have not only Mount Nambut as I said like a hundred times probably but you have like so many other interesting places that I've never seen before in my life and if you are into history, if you like nature, if you like more quiet places like this one then it's definitely something for you. To be honest, before I came to Adiyaman, I wasn't quite sure if it'd be a good idea to come here alone and also in winter. But now I'm already back on my way to the airport and Adiyaman just doesn't feel so strange to me anymore. I also got used to her just driving style and as the sun shines through this car window, I realize that I'm gonna miss this place. That's it from Adiyaman. See you next time in Afyon Karahisar.